Today's tutorial is to show you how to find an image that will work for me to print for you for your drawing classes. So the first thing that you will need to do is go to Google and up here in the right hand side make sure that you're searching for an image. Your search can, can include words like portrait, um, it could be a picture of a person that you're looking for, my favorite. Bob Ross is a person that I would like to draw, so I will do a Google search on him. Um, when you look up here in the sort of toolbar areas, if you're already on images, that's good. If you're not, you can click on images to make sure you're just getting pictures about of him and not articles about him. Then you're going to go over here to tools, and when you hit that, you'll get this drop down menu, and there's some things that you can use to help you. First of all, you definitely want to go to the size and make sure that you're choosing large. You need a large file size so that when I print this, it does not become pixelated. The thing that you are going to want to check for, because even though it's a lar it says large up here, you want to make sure that down here, that this number, when you scroll over the image, always is at least a thousand by a thousand. If you scroll over something and it's not a thousand, like this one here is 1140 by 699, that is not going to be large enough to guarantee you're not going to get a pixelated print. So this one here would be a fine image for me to use because it's a thousand by a thousand. Um, if you are having trouble um, doing things like finding just a portrait or something like that. You can go under type here. You can look for face, photo, um, and things like that. So that's another helpful thing for you to be able to use. In this situation, I didn't need it. I just found my large file size and this picture is going to work just fine for me. So the next thing you want to do is you want to click on the image and then you want to make sure that you always hit view image right here. If you save your image from this, then you will not have the image that is a thousand by a thousand. So you have to make sure you click on this and then you are going to copy that image and paste it into a Google Doc. Now, when you go to your drive, you have a folder at the top that says drawing one. You want to make sure, and I don't have it here because I don't see the same view you do, but you want to make sure you choose the folder that you want it to go into. And then these are, you know, other files that I've saved. In here, you can see I've done this before, I'm going to go to create a new Google Doc. I'm going to put it in the shared folder. That is okay. And up here, you're going to title it with whatever the assignment is. So if you're watching this for the value circle, you're going to put value circle. When you go here, you're going to paste it. Now I have my image in here, and I can use it just like this, but as you can see, it's, uh, I can still get a little bit more in terms of size out of this. One thing I'm noticing is that in this particular case, the picture is longer than it is tall, which means it's a portrait style or a landscape style picture. I, in order to get this to stretch as far as I can, I would do better if I changed my printout to print landscape. If that is the case for you, all you need to do is go under File, um, Page Setup down here, and then you can choose either Portrait or Landscape. If your picture is a vertical rectangle, leave it at Portrait, but if it's horizontal, choose Landscape and then OK. Now you can see I have all the space to the side instead of below, and I can stretch the image. When you click on the image, you'll see these blue lines come around the outside and these squares. You always want to make sure that you are pulling by a corner. Any corner is fine, but you never want to pull from a side or the top. If you pull from the side or the top, you will get a very distorted image, so you do not want to do that. To undo, I'm just going to hit Control Z and go back, and I'm going to fix this by pulling from the corner. I want to get this as large as I can, so another thing that I can do is with these arrows right up here, if I would like to change my margins, I can actually pull my margins back 
to give me a little more space and then I can continue to stretch this image out. You want to make sure you stay on the page and don't go outside. If you go like this and you go outside, it won't show up for me. So you need to make sure you stay within if within that space of the paper. And if you have saved it in your folder for the class, all you have to do from there is, is end it. It's already saved for you. When I go to print this, I will be able to see it and you will get a full almost 8 by 10 picture that you can use to draw from.